students today we'll start a new chapter that is sound wave sound wave is uh, basically one type of wave so initially we'll define uh, what is wave motion and uh, we'll discuss the types of wave, wave motions in this part of the video so what is a wave wave is uh, any disturbance any disturbance which travels from one part of the medium to other part of the medium where the particles of the medium do not move from one part to another only they carry energy only they transfer energy from one part to another part through oscillations of the particles so that is called as a wave so we'll write the definition of wave motion the wave motion is a disturbance uh, transfer from one part of the medium to another part of the medium without actual migration of the particles of the medium that is known as wave motion. So we'll write the definition. This is the chapter name. We'll define the define the wave motion. It is a, it is a wave is a sort of disturbance it is a form of disturbance which travels from one part of the medium to another part of the medium bring energy and momentum without actual migration of the particles so this is the definition of wave motion is a form of uh, the wave is particularly disturbance so when it uh, propagates it is wave motion is a form of disturbance which travels so the travel of the the motion of the disturbance is called wave motion from one part of the medium to another part of the medium here the medium consists of large number of particles okay so when a disturbance is created the particles are set into vibrations and uh, these particles uh, which start vibration first it uh, transfers the vibrations to the neighboring particles and that particle to its next neighboring particles so likewise all the particles are set into vibrations but they vibrate about their mean positions but they don't leave their mean positions so when the disturbance uh, starting from one point reaches to the other end of the uh, medium the particles will itself not move from one point to another point the particles will not move only they vibrate about their mean position then it, the next is vibrating then another is vibrating then they vibrate about their mean position but they don't leave their mean positions so this sort of uh, uh, motion is called as wave motion okay uh, now we'll discuss the types of uh, wave motion types of wave motion basically wave are uh, depending on uh, how you how, what is the basis of your division the wave is divided into basically three types one depending on the dimensions it is one dimensional or two dimensional or three dimensional waves depending on whether the particles of the medium vibrate perpendicular or how the particles vibrate when the wave propagates so based on that we have got longitudinal and transverse waves depending on whether the wave needs medium for the propagation of the wave if the wave requires or is a necessity or the medium is necessary for the propagation of wave then uh, on the basis of that we divide the wave motion into two types one is called uh, um, mechanical wave and other one is called non mechanical waves or electromagnetic waves so let us understand one by one division on the basis of 
division of wave motion on the basis of dimension on the basis of dimensions along which it moves on the basis of dimension we have a one dimensional wave two dimensional wave three dimensional wave uh, example one dimensional wave is when wave in a string wave in a string is a one dimensional wave so this type of uh, that is a wave on a string is one dimensional because uh, when uh, a string is uh, uh, one end of the string is uh, attached to the so this it uh, suppose this is a wall and the other end is uh, kept uh, straight and then uh, and you provide some oscillation to the other end free end of the string the the pulse uh, that is generated or the uh, disturbance that is created at the other end will travel from this end to the end where the rope is fixed the oscillation that is uh, created at the, this end travels along the length of the rope so when it travels along the length of the rope the string only vibrates up and down that means the if i consider this as the x axis and this as the y axis then the initially the string is uh, lying straight along x axis and uh, when this uh, part is pulled up and then string uh, molecule will move in this y direction so here the displacement wave on a, so on a string <coughs> wave on a string particles uh, when uh, a jerk is given at the free end the particle will move up so the displacement is in this direction in the y direction and the disturbance propagates along x direction okay so disturbance travels along x direction and particles vibrate along y directions wave motion is the propagation of uh, disturbance and that disturbance is traveling along x axis along the length of the rope so therefore this is a case of one dimensional wave so this is 1d okay now Similarly, I can have uh, one example of a two-dimensional wave when a wave uh, propagates along a surface, okay? Like uh, waves on the surface of water, when you drop a pebble at the uh, water which is at rest, then at the point of uh, disturbance where the pebble is dropped, the stone is dropped, there the disturbance is created and from that point of disturbance you will see disturbance in the form of uh, concentric uh, circles will move radially outwards along the surface of the water body that uh, the disturbance uh, radially outward on the surface on the plane of the body so this type of uh, wave motion is called two dimensional wave motion that is wave on the surface of water okay it is like this like this ripples with this here this is the point where uh, the pebble was dropped and uh, the disturbance will travel radially in all possible directions. This uh, propagates along the surface. So it is a case of wave on water surface. It is a case of 
two dimensional web similarly three dimensional web uh, is uh, like uh, when web travels in space in all possible directions suppose there is a light source the light uh, source will emit electromagnetic waves in all possible directions so if there is a point source of light then from this light will move in all possible directions towards away like this like that that is in all three dimensional three dimensionally the wave will propagate so when a sound wave is also three dimensional when i speak then uh, then it can be heard by anyone surrounding me in the uh, like in a spherical uh, all spherical locations uh, if uh, you can uh, hear what i say so it is propagating that means the wave is propagating in all possible directions so these are all three dimensional wave okay now next is uh, on the basis of this is on the basis of uh, dimensions uh, and what dimensions uh, the wave uh, propagates one or two or three dimensions it requires for this propagation now we'll move to another type uh, on the basis of uh, on the basis of uh, uh, medium requirement on the basis of medium now if a uh, wave uh, requires a material medium for its propagation then uh, it is called as a, a mechanical wave if a material medium is not necessary it if it is there is okay if it is not there then also it's okay then that type of wave which uh, uh, does not necessarily uh, require uh, material medium for its propagation those type of uh, waves are called uh, electromagnetic waves or non mechanical waves okay so on the basis of medium we have uh, two types one is called one is called mechanical wave and another is called non mechanical wave mechanical wave is one which requires medium for its propagation and non mechanical wave it doesn't require uh, medium for its propagation we'll take one example of mechanical wave like uh, sound wave is a mechanical wave because it requires medium for its propagation if there is no medium sound cannot travel okay if there is an explosion in space then uh, we don't hear because uh, most part of the space is empty vacuum and the explosion that occurs some part other part it cannot travel to the uh, to earth because to by the presence of vacuum or uh no medium so sound is a mechanical wave which uh, definitely requires a certain medium material medium for its propagation it can uh, sound can pass through solid liquid or gas but it requires medium for its propagation sound wave is mechanical if i give you example of uh, non mechanical waves and the light wave is a non mechanical wave uh, we call it is electromagnetic wave when light uh, travels it travels in the form of uh, the this of electric and magnetic field so that uh, that can pa pass through vacuum also because light reaches from sun uh, through to vacuum also so it can travel in vacuum so no medium is necessarily required for light wave to travel therefore light is called non mechanical wave whereas sound is called mechanical wave another way of bifurcation of uh, the wave motion is on the basis of how the particles of the medium vibrate so third one is on the basis of on the basis of particle vibration okay on the basis of particle vibration the wave is divided into two parts one is called transverse wave another is called longitudinal wave longitudinal wave now we will uh, discuss transverse wave and longitudinal wave in detail but for the time being if the particles of the medium vibrate perpendicular to the propagation of the wave then it is called transverse wave for example in a string if uh, i oscillate this
now if uh, the particle uh, vibrates uh, perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave for example this is a string which is fixed at this end okay the string lying horizontally on x direction suppose this is y direction this x and y axis are uh, perpendicular to each other now the string is lying initially along horizontal direction along x direction so it is uh, one coordinate to define you to reach uh, any particle here here or anywhere you have to just define one coordinate put the value of that coordinate and will leave the particle address now if this end if we fix the one end of the string here and other end here other end is free and it is pulled like this and uh, give a job if i give a job the give one pulse that pulse will start traveling in this direction now what is happening is when this molecule is moved is moved off in the y direction so that means the displacement is occurring in this direction now if the uh, oscillation is uh, continuous if the disturbance is continuous like this then the particle will move up and down like this and uh, so is the other particles when this disturbance will reach so all the particles start oscillating in this direction whereas the disturbance that is created that is the displacement along this direction is transferred along is moving along this direction that means when wave moves along x direction or in this direction and the particles vibrate perpendicular to it then this type of wave is called transverse wave so transverse wave is this is the direction of velocity of the particle and this is the direction of this is the direction of velocity of the wave when the velocity of the particle and the velocity of the wave are perpendicular then this type of wave motion is called transverse wave motion in the stream the wave motion is transverse wave motion similarly if you think about the longitudinal wave if a longitudinal wave propagates like this in this direction then the particle will also if your longitudinal wave propagates in this direction this is the case of transverse wave this is the case of longitudinal wave if a longitudinal wave travels in this direction and the particle moves to and fro back and forth along the direction of propagation of wave see here the wave velocity is in this direction and uh, the particle velocity is either in this direction or in this direction then this type of uh, wave motion is called longitudinal wave motion sound wave is longitudinal sound wave is longitudinal this means that uh, that also we'll discuss uh, in detail later on so this is how you bifurcate the types of mobile motions depending on their uh, whether the medium is required whether the vibration of particles or 1d 2d 3d uh, propagations okay thank you